I'm a triplet, and my older sister is only 21 months older, so we're the four of us are the same age. And I can't imagine a time in the reasonable future where I wouldn't have one of my sisters. What I go through is way easier than what they go through. Way easier. At least mine is, you can deal with physical stuff. If it's tangible, it's manageable. It's just easier to hold on to. For them, it's this worrying and this awful picture of a future where maybe I'm not there, and that's terrible. I was 22 years old, and I was driving a friend to work, and I fell asleep at the wheel, and I got into a head-on collision with a school bus, and I severed my coronary artery, ruptured my tricuspid valve, and had a heart attack. I had emergency open-heart surgery, where they repaired my tricuspid valve. I have a ring in there now, and they did a bypass um, of the RCA. Saved my life. Almost killed me, but also saved my life. For me now, I have heart failure, pretty advanced heart failure. I have arrhythmia, um, valve disorders. I have a permanent pacemaker. I'll have constant surgeries to replace that. I can't work. I can't have children. I am a heart patient forever. The repetitiveness, the knowing what to expect is sort of terrifying, because I know. I know that there's gonna be nights in the hospital when no one's there and I'm alone in my own shell thinking this again. And when you press your button in the middle of the night and a really wonderful nurse comes in, the tone of their voice can all of a sudden bring you back and you're a person in the world again and you're not a patient, you're their patient. Nobody wants to be in a hospital, but if we make it safer, if we make it easier for them, it becomes a good experience. I felt like she was a person who knew what has to be done, and she wanted us to let her know everything about her care. Her eyes smiled a lot, which I loved. She was um, happy even if she wasn't. I never knew if she was having a difficult time. She wasn't curing me, but there was a healing involved in my interactions with Smita. She was wonderful. Nursing is where you could touch so many lives and the team, the support we have from leadership, everyone who encounters everyone, comes together as a team, forgets what's going on, and is there for one purpose, and that's, that is to best provide the best care to the person. You know, I'm very lucky. I have so much support in my life. I have a wonderful husband, my sisters, my sisters' husbands, their children, my parents. I woke up an entirely different person, and it gives me a chance to laugh at everything. If you don't let it turn you into a person who can enjoy any moment, then, you know, you're not doing it right. I have scars all over me, and I can't control that. I thought, ooh, what if I put pretty things on me, and all of my tattoos mean something? This is obviously a heart, and it has some work done but it's a hot air balloon because I will not let it get me down. <laughs> Cheesy! <laughs> Everybody who has any exchange with a patient has the ability to change everything. In a, in, a, in a moment, they can change everything.